guys, Steve from BNS Customs here. Today I want to go over the main menu options in the HUD on uh, some of the performance features of the Rumblebee here. i uh, show you the performance control options in there and the launch control as well. Uh, my cousin Mike hasn't had a chance to go through it yet, and I figured I'd save him the time of going through the manual and just create this video for him and you as well. And let's check it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is start the car. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So see the display coming up here and traction control is on so the first thing you can do right away is you can turn off your traction control right here pushing this button once we'll put the car into sport mode let's turn that off and if you hold the button down you can actually deactivate the traction control altogether it takes about seven to ten seconds and there we go now it's totally off that's just by holding the button so the next set of features come up really um, is when you hit the super track pack here over on the HUD here when you hit that you come into a nice menu here and you can see right now it's in the driver's setup mode it's in the default mode traction control is off of course we're going to turn that back on just by pushing the button so everything's back to normal now there's a sport mode button down here by pushing that button down there you'll see everything toggle into the sport mode over here and by hitting the touch screen you can actually confirm all that, and you can even read about it. It will describe what sport mode does to the car and how it's actually activated. There's also a couple pages here you can go through. There's even for the talks about each of the individual settings. So for the steering, you can describe the differences between sport, normal, and comfort, as you can see. And if you go back another page, it actually talks about the suspension here, or the, the actual traction. And as you see, we're in sport. And if I toggle it right now again, Everything is back to normal, and if we go view that all again, you would see that, as you can see here, it's in normal mode, and the, even the images here will change. And now it shows us in normal, and you see it's yellow as well for normal traction as well. Back on the main page here, if we go into launch control over on the left here, you'll see you get an RPM gauge with a slider on the right. All you do is, you can set the RPM gauge to where you want the car to launch at, we'll put it at 3000. And as the information button also tells you, you should really adjust it based on the type of tires you have in the car and how well of a good driver you are as well. Going back to the main page here, to actually activate the launch control, you push the button here on the right, and there is a little bit of a delay. After about five seconds or so, it will go in, and it tells you to follow the instructions on the cluster. Over on the cluster over here, we can see that it wants the steering wheel straight. And now it wants the steering wheel straight, you, put, you apply the clutch all the way down and you put the car to full throttle. Now I'm in neutral and I'm also in my pro shop here. We're not actually gonna launch, but I'm gonna show you what happens here. It locks the RPM to three grand when I floor it. Now all you gotta do is have the car in gear, release the clutch and you are off. And as you see there, after about five or six seconds there, it does disengage the launch control. So you do have to launch it within that time. Now as I showed earlier, I hit the super track pack button to take me into that menu. But it's also right here on the gauge cluster, it's performance control right here. You see it's the exact same screen we were in. Going back to apps though, if we go to the next page over, you can see the performance pages right here. Now, for in here, this lets you do a number of things. Uh, first of which, you can set the pretty picture of the car you want to look at the whole time you're in here. We'll leave it there. That's on the home page. If we go to timers, this is more of a track page for you. Uh, this will record and set the current ETAs you're doing at a quarter mile strip, real nice, and some uh, brake distance and braking for miles per hour. You can see here, uh, Michael's best so far, zero to 60 is 5.7 seconds, eighth mile is 9.1 at uh, 71 miles an hour, and a quarter mile is 15.8 at uh, 65 miles an hour. I think he can do better than that. I know he hasn't really tried yet either though. Continuing on, we go to gauge one, you see you get some more information uh, on your engine here as the main cluster here only shows you your RPMs and really your miles per hour. Uh, we do have the engine cool, uh, heat as well, temperature, and the uh, fuel here. So if you do want more information on the car as you are driving it, you can go through the gauges here. Here we can see oil temp, coolant temperature, oil pressure, and the gauge two cluster shows us the battery voltage and the air intake temperature as well. You can also have it show you the g-force you have as you're driving along and so how many g's you're pulling as you go it's kind of nice and also the engine 
you can see here it says power, torque, and oil pressure. If I apply a little bit of gas, I am in neutral. You'll see everything rise up as you're driving. And that's really cool as you're driving. It gives you some uh, readouts as you're going there. Real nice. One of the last things to show you here is you can actually flip between the tr Super Track Pack menu and the Performance menu right here at the top. Just by hitting the corner there, you'll see... Oh, I hit the home button. But right above that, we're back to the main uh, Performance Control page. And if you want the Performance pages, which we just were, you just hit the button the screen right there. And it takes you back into that menu. Real slick. So there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to show on that. Hope it helps you out. Uh, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Take care.